In the heart of the vast Atlantic Ocean lies a hidden paradise. Nine Portuguese islands, known as the Azores, with picture-perfect landscapes, emerge from the depths where emerald hills roll into the horizon and cliffs dramatically meet the crashing waves. A place where nature reigns supreme and time stands still. Join me on my extraordinary two-week journey visiting three islands of this captivating archipelago where adventure and tranquility harmonize in perfect balance. Welcome to the Azores. I'm going to try to visit a cave that is pretty spectacular. I just hope I can enter because because you couldn't um, book tickets in advance. So let's see Ooh, <laughs> if I can enter. If you have the feeling like you missed something or this video starts rather directly, it's probably because you did not watch the previous episode. After my epic hike, I visited the Algar do Carvalho lava tube. It is formed about 3200 years ago after the magma drained from the chimney flowed back into the chamber. It is a truly epic feeling to realize you are actually exploring the inside of a volcano. I wanted to go for a short hike again, but <laughs> the sky is falling, so um, I am staying in the car and waiting it out. And then that is the last thing I'm doing today, because the weather is shit today, guys. And I really hope it will change. <laughs> Everyone is standing over there. <laughs> I think everyone is thinking the same thing today and I really hope the weather will change tomorrow because this is not it! I don't know if you noticed but there is steam coming out of this which is pretty cool the steam I am referring to are volcanic gases because Furnas do Enxofre is a fumarolic field which is a manifestation of secondary volcanism. The several fractures emit steam, carbon dioxide and sulfuric gases which lead to the development of a rare ecosystem with microorganisms capable of surviving in extreme environments. Volcanic places is always so great. <laughs> it smells like rotten eggs. Hmm. <laughs> I 
another day, another hike. Um, since today it is also a rainy, cloudy day and I already <laughs> tried to go to a very famous viewpoint over here but um, first of all um, it was so cloudy there was nothing to see and second of all apparently there were constructions over there so I wasn't even able <laughs> to access the viewpoint so that was a lost cause um, so I decided to do another hike and actually this hike was recommended by a local that I met in a restaurant so um, this hike is called Pasajem dos Bestas, I think. Um, forgive me for my pronunciation, my Portuguese is really bad. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to try to do this hike. I don't know if it will be um, in the same condition <laughs> as the hike of yesterday. I hope it will be a little easier. Um, so yeah, let's see where it will take me and let's see um, what the sights will be. Pasajem das Bestas is a 4 km trail with a lot of variety. Pasajem das Bestas means crossing of the beasts and it's called that way because at the end of the hike you can still see the old ox cart tracks carved in the rocks by the rolling of thousand ox carts that for centuries would come to the crater to pick wood. my own fault because I was filming myself on the slippery path. <laughs> I did not hurt myself luckily. <laughs> I won't be wearing these anymore. 
anyway, um, I'm going to continue now. <laughs> All the green that you just saw in the previous scene those are the tops of all the greens that you see here so I just walked down the stairs here and now I'm diving into the forest here so I'm walking through the greens of the massive field that you just saw how cool is that <laughs> I made it this trail was definitely way more easy than um, the hike from yesterday but it was also beautiful and definitely a must when you are coming to Tercera currently visiting Praia da Vitoria and considering that it is a Saturday and that it is one of the biggest towns here in Terceira it is quite dead <laughs> I did not expect this at all I mean shops are almost all closed bars and restaurants closed um, or hard to find there's like one street that is really cute I still have to explore um, a part of the town but I really thought it would be more vivid like Angra do Heroismo but it's very different um, so yeah I'm a bit disappointed I have to say unfortunately it is without a doubt a peaceful beautiful town though I had a quick lunch there and then I drove to a viewpoint as my last stop before my flight to the next island Flores.
I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next videos. Thanks for watching!